Welcome back to the News at 9. It's time for Tax Talk Tuesday. I'm here with Crystal Goodman and Laura Brialt from H&R Block. They're here to prepare you for the tax season. Thank you so much for being here, both of you, today. Thank you. All right, let's get right to it. Today we're talking about common mistakes to avoid when filing your taxes. So what are some of those? Well, making sure that you claim all of your children is one of the mm -hmm. biggest mistakes people don't do. They don't claim all of their children because they feel they can only get a certain amount of credit for them. Okay, so make sure you claim all of your children. Yes. Make sure you have all the W-2s from all the jobs that you work, not just the ones that you got in January. Um, some people forget that they worked a job for a couple weeks and then I got a W-2. Sometimes within an hour after filing, they get that W-2 in the mail. So yep. that makes a 1040X um, amended return have to be filed. Oh, that could be very frustrating. So all your children, all your jobs. Yes. Correct. All right, some good tips. So what if a taxpayer has already filed their tax return and then they realize they made a mistake? Well, usually it can be anywhere from missing documents or it could be a math error. Usually we try to let people know that you wait until the IRS releases your refund and then if you notice that there was no corrections made, then we need to do an amendment. Well, we can also, we have a second look program where we can look over your tax return for free. So a lot of people are doing the do-it-yourself, which we applaud them for, you know, doing that because we take classes to <laughs> learn all this stuff. It's hard. So if you think that maybe I didn't get enough refund or something, I got way too big of a refund over the years um, from last year, especially with these changes, bring it in for us a second look at it. It's free if we have to help you amend it, you know, and then we'll do an amendment re return. But second look is free for us to put our eyeball on it. Right. It can't hurt to have another pair of eyes on it, like you mentioned, especially if you're doing it yourself, yes. which is very hard to do, especially with a lot of new rules this correct, year. Correct, correct. And we, you know, HRBOT does have do-it-yourself programs, so on it, if you're doing it yourself and it just doesn't look true, you can actually select a tax pro in your area to look it over and have that um, second mm -hmm. eyeball looking right before you file, too. So that's an option. All right, so what should you look for, speaking of, when you're looking for a tax professional? Someone that actually has updated their training and um, signs the return, is that's one of the things. They're registered with the IRS yes. and they have a preparer's tax identification number. That's the big thing is <laughs> if they can actually sign a tax return and be recognized by the IRS, the IRS actually has a list of names of local preparers that are registered through the IRS that you can go to the IRS.gov and look at that. All right, any other tips for giving a second look over, finding the right tax professional, or things that people commonly mistake? Well, give us a call at h and Block. Right. I mean, we always answer the phone and answer questions. <laughs> Can't it hurt. It doesn't cost anything. It, it's always good to look for a professional, ask a professional, get mm -hmm. your second opinion. Yep. All right, well, if you still have any questions at home, if you're watching this, we will be live on Facebook talking about this. So join us after the news at 9. We'll be live on the TV5 homepage on Facebook answering your questions. So make sure to post those in the comments. We'll get all of those answered for you.